I did manage to get this banger here out. It seems like it was rusting a bit. Yes! <laughs> What's up guys, welcome to a brand new video. Today we are back with our multi-part series where we try to upgrade this vintage mountain bike from the 80s to its fully potential to modern mountain bike. And if you haven't seen the first part, then be sure to check that one out. As a spoiler alert, we already did quite a few things. Yes! And most importantly, we pressed the cups and the new headset in the zero tube, which was quite a challenge because it's a one by one quarter and we had to convert it to one by one eight inch. So if you haven't seen that, then be sure to check that one out. Also, we managed to press the steer tube onto the fork, which was another challenge. Luckily, I had somebody uh, coming around and helping me with a big hammer. It's very smooth, so I'm very happy with that. Now, what are we going to do today? Well, you can see there are a few parts lined up already. For example, the tires. These are Maxxis Medusa, quite old, but uh, haven't been used. We have to clean them though a little bit because I bought them second hand for 35 bucks, a set of these. And yeah, they were sitting, so they were gathering quite a bit of dust. So, uh, but I can just peel it off, so it's fine. Hopefully they are big enough. If not, then in the future, maybe we'll upgrade to 2.5 inch tires. And also what we're going to do today is putting the handlebars onto the bike, like so. Uh, this will look awesome. And also we're gonna reuse the Shimano Diore XT gearing. We also will put these on and also the brake levers. I also had some modern brake levers, but they were so tiny. I didn't like the feel of them. So we're gonna reuse these parts and we're gonna combine these three by seven shifting with a nine speed cassette at the back. It will be doable, but uh, we will miss out on two gears, but that's not a problem. And in the future, we will upgrade this bike to a one by 11. That's the plan anyways. I'm so excited. Let's get into it, remove the ugly parts, get the handlebar in and uh, yeah, I will catch you then. Well, 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 
Look how far we've come already. I'm really stoked how it looks already. I could only wish that we went for a bigger tire, but these were cost reasons. I got these Maxxis pair for 35 euros. If you can afford it, then we might upgrade these to 2.5 inch tires. This is the maximum these 22 rims can accept. Then it will look even better. So yeah, so stoked. Let me know in the comment section what you think of this process so far. And yeah, unfortunately we didn't do everything that I wanted to do. At least we got the other pedals on. Eventually I want to get flat pedals on, really big ones, but these are all what I got right now. And also we want to go one by sister. I wanted to do this today as well, but unfortunately my time ran out, so I have to go to work now. But um, yeah, so that's what we're going to do in the next part. Um, getting rid of the two cranks and um, hacking it with a few spacers that we have only one by system. Or maybe two, we'll see. And uh, what we're also going to do is in the next episode we change from the cantilevers to the disc brakes with the rear disc brake adapter and we're going to put the TRP spikes on the front and on the rear. Oh yeah, one thing, I did manage to get this banger here out. It seems like it was rusting a bit, so I used the fluid film. So hopefully it will loosen it up, the screw, so I can get this thing out. Weighs at least another kilo, this thing. <laughs> Anyways, I'm out of breath. If you like this video, then please give this video a like and uh, subscribe to the channel to not miss the final part of this video series. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I will catch you for the next video very soon. Peace out for now. Bye.